I will be doing a quick video on installing Anaconda with Python following documentation for Windows. Go to the Anaconda individual products, individual edition, and click download. It should take you to the bottom of the page. All three major platforms are here. I'm going to be installing on a 64-bit Windows 10 system. I've already downloaded save a little time and make sure not to download this in a favorites folder I have a installers folder under my downloads also you don't really need to install this as an admin a lot of these notes are inside of this installing anaconda documentation we'll walk through a couple steps and then just do the full install just going to double click regularly. I'll walk through and read the license agreement. I'll install just for me. Pick where you install it. If you decide to create a different folder name, just be careful about the name of the folder. It doesn't like spaces. It's asking about where we want to install. Anaconda, this will allow the Anaconda Python to be the primary Python for your system. So if you're using a different program that needs Python, it can access Anaconda 3 as well. If you do to your path, you'll have to add that every single time you want to create a new program that uses Anaconda Python. Uh, we'll just keep it simple and just register as my default. It may take a little bit of time to finish up, but once it gets to the completed, you should be able to hit next. It allows you to add in things like PyCharm and other, other things. We're gonna stick with the standard Anaconda because it's free open source and it works for us and it includes Spider. Gonna uncheck these, feel free to look at those as you need. This should conclude our basic setup for Anaconda and all the tools already built into the system. Gonna run Spider just to make sure everything works. Once Spider opens, you should have a few different uh, windows. You've got some variables here. So if you create a variable, you've got a help file, some plots files from your computer, and then your console down here live. At the beginning, it should state whether you're in Python 3. You can also look down here in Python 3.8. I'm going to be using Conda. We can right straight into the console here and see what it spits out know that python is working we can also write in our temporary py file print and then hit the play button or run file it should produce our print hello world from here should be a good test to make sure everything is working and allow you to get started really quickly in Python.